Alright, welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Malfa project. And uh, today um, we're going to be working on the uh, section right over here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Alright, let's get started on this bad boy, shall we? So I actually did some walking today. What the... Wait, wait. Oh my god. Why are there always cables in my fucking wheels? Really? Really cable? Really? You... Oh my god. Alright, that's one. And that, that's two. Alright. Done. 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 Stupid cable. You just cable gets stuck into the ca into the chair. Well, congratulations on me, on my part. All right, uh, let's get started. <laughs> it's always lovely how uh, you know things happen. Like you know you're busy with doing stuff and then you realize that like, hmm, there's a cable stuck in my in my chair. How ha how did that happen? Of course, it is not luckily the mic mic cable. It's actually the cable for the um, how do you say? It's a cable for connection between the telephone and the, uh, well, you know, energy source. Probably that's the word. It's the, uh, it's an um, battery recharger. Oh, there you go, recharger. Uh, let's see. How much did we do? Ah, this is that. Alright, then we are gonna go now to... We want this to be underneath this, so we should put it right underneath it. And then we should add this into a group. Alright, so now if I now draw... You know, you have the rock. You have another rock like that. And have like well you know all the stuff boom all the rocks like that yeah that would work now I need to make sure that I have the right color then that is black awesome. So if we want to bring rocks to this, it should be like that. And we also need to lower down the pixel size, just in case. Right? Yeah, we need to lower down the pixel size. Alright. Now I'm prepared. So how much grass do we want to have on this side? We have grass until the midsection, so it should be like right over here. Yeah. This should then be the grass side. So I want this grass to be like this. Alright. So it should be grass here and then rocks over here. One rock over here would be fine. And then build up the things right here. If I then up that until here, that should work then, right? Probably. So we have this, and then it should be like that. So if I add it like that, it will work. So we have grass here, that is on top of this rock part. So it's like moss. Then I have grass over here that overlaps the grass the uh, rock parts. Then I have normal well, you know, normal rocks being stacked on top of each other. And then grass right here again. 
on the spot. Is that possible? Yeah, that's possible. Alright, now we need to first start with the grass. So we need to make sure that we have the drawing bit done. So by using this grass, it should be fine. Like that, and then it should be right over here again. Well, I can do that part later. I first want to make sure that I have everything here then. Set. Because that's how the grass works, right? Yeah, it does. Alright, good. Probably most of this is just gonna be, you know, repeatable grass pattern, but eh, it is still, you know, a lot of work anyway. <laughs> Thinking about how much stuff is actually going on here, well, you know, most things anyway work really well when they come around and go around. All right. No, I need to figure that out. Like, I need to do it. I need to do this. All right. So this grass needs to be upwards. And that should work. Now that we've done that, we can then, you know, forward move on it. I know that the grass is indeed the most difficult one to do because, you know, it takes a lot of time in, into into space. But after after, you know, a lot of work, I think it is worth it. And after some times, you know, it, it always works. It just needs to. It, this always takes a lot of time. And after to get things right. Yep. That just works. Awesome. Alright, we have that part done. Now we need to get this part done. So the main idea is that, you know, we're drawing the grass and then, you know, do the coloring on the grass and then w walk forwards into the uh, into the rock bits. So after this, we're going to draw the rock right here and then we're going to color it in so that we have like a base on what do we want to do. Of 
course, you know, this might not be the most optimal way of doing grass, but it is a secure way to achieve the grass look on the ground. And so, it will achieve the proper thing that we want. Which is the grassy feeling. Duh. We want to make sure that the eye does know what to look at. Like, you see grass? Well, I do see grass. And then, you know, the eye is like, hey, that's grass, indeed. And then the, the eye is like, happy and satisfied. Well, at least, that is what my goal is, at least. That the eye is satisfied upon seeing the grass. Of course, you know, it is still grass, so therefore, you know, I need to make sure that I do it right. Right. Alright. Nope, oh, I'm not supposed to do that. Go to size. Alright, now we're going to add the rock bar to it. Now we've done that, now we need to get some coloring. So the first color we need to get is the brown version, uh, is the rock, and then we need to get the grass done. Is that the color we need? Nope, that's not the color we need. We needed this color right here. A little bit lighter. See, we 
that color. Dark, well, we're gonna go first for the lighter color part. So, let's see if this works. Yes, I do need a, I do need the darker color for the part that we already have. Um, There you go. All right. Now we need to erase this again, and we're going to go over again. Now we need to get the third color in, and then we should be fine. And that should be the last one to go for. Alright, now we need to get back to this one. And now we need to get the original color back in. So that we don't, if we screw up, we don't screw up big time. It's that color right there. And now we need to get the erasing done. Right. Yes, and now we can go. Since we did that, we're gonna add them into the group so that we have nowhere to find them. So we have the rock pieces into one part, and we have the grass pieces into one part. Boom, boom, alright, cool. And now we're gonna add a new part on top of this, which is gonna be the green. We're gonna pick up first the green color we need, which is the normal color scheme of the green, which is this one right here, I believe. And that should then work out well. How nice, it all works well. So since we're adding like, you know, three layer colored system on it, it would work really well in the perspective of what we are doing right now anyway. Uh, 
And since that this is all coloring, just coloring them, well, you know, there is no harm in doing it. Alright. Alright, now that we have done that, we're not going to go use the eraser to get every part that we don't want to be not there. And by doing so, this would actually work out really well. Alright. Now we've done that, we now can implement the second color. Which is the lighter color, and then after the lighter color, then we we'll want to go for the darker color. Choose. Do I need to add more detail to it? Looks like it. Uh, looks like it, right? Yep. I need to put more detail on it. God dang it. And this is why it's so important to get more texture. Because you know and you realize like, well, look at that, that is a thing that I need to do well. You know, all the time when you realize things that you need to do well, sometimes, you know, you need to also make sure that you have enough detail in it. That does not always work, therefore that's why, you know. That's why we have this. If we don't have the detail, you know, we cannot work with it. We need the detail to make, you know, the drawing correct. And to do that, well, you know, we need, we need all the things we can get. Therefore, I need to now add some more detail to it. Well, we need that. We don't need green. 
goes in zip code. That's the color we don't need. What I'm now doing is actually putting some little dots, and well, little stripes like this. These type, these types of stripes. So they're not, they're not, they're not impactful, but they are impactful to the pattern. Therefore, you know, creating more, creating more depth in the in the drawing themselves. Well, that's the idea at least. And to create more texture in it will create the effect that I want, which is that you know the, the grass will be less, will be more impacted in light and shading uh, parts. So the grass will be more impactful. Oh well, let's say the color will be more impactful to the grass. That's the idea. Now that sounds all fun, lovely in theory, but we also need to make sure that it is in theory correct. Now also the grass will be more detailed, therefore also more crowded. Which is a little bit of a downside, but it should be fine. Alright, so if we now add the color back in, that is now the effect we have. We'll just draw a little bit more stuff on the on it and then it should be fine. Alright, now that we have that. We can now go to this one and we can start again with the part that we need to draw. Well, color at least. Which, of course, is the highlight part. And to do so, that will cause us to gain. Uh, let's see. This one. I need. Yes, thank you. Alright. Here and now we should be able to draw. That is not what I want. I need a lot of color then. Alright. Now I need to get this thing to be a little bit more bigger. Because oh I did not select the right tool, didn't I? Yes, I did not. Now is it way to go? I hate you so much. Select the color that I need and then go back. Because of the tool caused it to happen. Jeez Louise. Stupid tool.
That's more better. That's more like it. That's more grass like it. And that's how you create it. All right, cool. Grass, one of the most difficult things to draw up perfectly. Yep. It's way more difficult than rocks, at least. Because, you know, you need to figure things out, and then I also need to make sure that I don't have the shading part on, the, on the, this part or right over here. So that, you know, the grass will look fine. Also, I need to make sure that the grass looks fine, so... That's why I'm not always filling things up as according to plan, because grass does not do that. And highlighting random parts of the grass is very important here. And keeping the same stroke effect, so keeping the uh, pointy part so that you know you have grass effect on it. So, like that. See? Like that. And then we have, well, you know, a grass looking grass that does not look like grass, but more, more like moss, but eh, it's on the ground, so it should be moss anyway. But it does have the grassy feeling to it, so that's good. It does feel like a forest uh, part, a grass part. Grass, not forest. Grass part. And then, you know, then after that, we also need to make sure that we have the, uh, how do you say, um, shading part done. So we also need to put more shades into the grass to create more of a variety into the pattern itself. So we have already the grass, then we need to have a pattern in the grass, and then once we have the pattern in the grass, then we can finally leave it to be, leave it wherever it was supposed to be, leaving. And then uh, I will call it a day because grass drawing grass is a very very difficult part anyway to draw because it's grass. I must say though, uh, drawing is actually less difficult than writing a story. Jeez Louise! I got st today. Well, yet yesterday I got stuck on the storm because I wanted to write the end. And well, you know, I, I just got mid sentence of the in the end. It's like here you have a story. Allow me to read you the last page, and then page number twenty four eight nine, and then paragraph two four eight. And it's like ah, uh, that's not how a story's supposed to go. You're supposed to, you know, have a beginning and an end. But I was like, no, I must write this ending part of the whole story. Otherwise I will never, 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 never get things done correctly. So yeah, I wrote down the final ending and I just need to I just need a little bit more scripting, so it's like, you know, a little bit more some some things need to be done before it's fully done and functional, but you get the point. Um now we also need to make sure that we have the same pattern and the other part. So we need to now use the blur tool to add some more variety into the grass. So it's now just, you know, adding the transition color into it. So that it doesn't look that grassy. It it looks now way too grassy and we don't want that. We want to have some variety in it, but we don't want to have too much variety in it. So like you know, we have like points that we need to keep on. Alright, that's good enough. Now I need to add one more card to the mix, and that is the dark color. Oh, it's supposed to be here. It's supposed to be in the in the drawing. Uh, let's see where. It, let's see if we can find it. Or is the grass only two colors? Uh, I don't think so. Though I thought it would be three colors, right? believe so.
you know, we're going to pick this spawn up, see if it works. Oh, that's a beautiful color right now. Alright, cool. Now we're going to pick up this one. That should be fine. No. I did it. That's not how it's supposed to go. But you can already see that I picked the right color here. So, um, this space right here is, and then we should go for like that. Get this one instead. Uh, it's right there. Right there needs to be done, and right over here needs to be there. Yes, and it should be right over here as well, won't it? So it should be like that. So we give a little bit more sculpture to it. All right. Now I'll use the blend tool to to get everything correctly. So it's not too obvious. Alright, and that should be it. Lovely. So we have grass now. We have grass now. We have grass. Alright, we have grass. So now we didn't now we've done it. So as you can see we have finally made the first step into filling up that place right there. How much time do we have left? Twenty minutes ten twenty minutes. Um boy ten minutes only. Uh, let's see. Is it for me possible to draw the parts that we need? Is it for me to possibly draw these rocks? Eh, yeah, sure. I will be able to draw these rocks. So these rocks are supposed to be behind the grass. Which, that's why we put the grass here. That's why we have this right here. And we should put this into a different map. Because otherwise we are gonna get lost. Well, we're gonna put this into the grass map over this part right here. Boop. Boop. Yes, awesome. So we have now this part that we can, you know, remove whenever we want to. We have the rock part which we use only for the rocks. Awesome. And now we need to grab a new part right here. So we have done the, 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 the we have done this part, yes. This is the part of the grass, this is the part of the rocks. Alright. Well, time to draw more rocks, I guess. We could even put it on a different now we'll put them on a different on a different tab. Just in case. Um now let's get started. So we use the same brush again, we're going to use the big boy brush, we're going to use black again, and now we should be... Ah, I see that I made a mistake here, I need to remove some coloring, so... Oh well, anyway... That's one rock done. Now we need to get this rock done so that is like and the rock lays down like that. And then there is another rock stacked on top of it. Like that. So like that. Awesome. So this is a big rock by the looks of it. Now we should be able to get to the part that we want. Yes, thank you. Oh, looks like. 
Also, I need to switch to the good eraser, because otherwise I will get really, really frustrated. A bit of a turning around. Ah, let's see. That's supposed to happen, so we should then move this down what's underneath the color board. Uh, yeah, probably. Or I just need to be very careful where I draw. I think both can be done quite easily. Right. Does that make it look like a good rock? Mm. Let's check it out. Compare it. Yes, no, maybe. It is a little bit too flexible. Feels like, you know, there has been like, you know, big giant hammer just like splat! You know, like that. And we don't want that. Um do 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 think 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 think. There should be a gap. Should be a gap between the rocks. So one gra one rock here, one rock there, and then the middle rock is gonna be under uh, is gonna be over near the Yes, like that. That's more like it. Alright, now I should be able to get this more accurate than There you go. Much better. Now we should get this one also back on. <sighs> Let's see, is that a good one? No, that's not. That's a horrible. That's a horrible pattern. And again. This part right here does not fit the rock itself. Alright, that's more like it. Um, 45 minutes. Nah, that, that would not work. That big rock is going to be taking more than 4 or 5 minutes. Alright, I think I will leave it here for today. 
Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, we're almost uh, halfway filling that a uh, little bit over there. We're almost halfway filling it, filling it up with rocks and uh, gra uh, with rock and moss, and then uh, uh, tomorrow we will be uh, continuing this. So uh, I hope you all have enjoyed for today, and uh, thanks all for watching. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye.